And I put a couple of misfits. Three other misfits. So this, is, this will be the, the premier of the misfit UCC stands for United Church of Christ. What we really understand and what we bank on is a, a tagline that says uh, you are welcome here. Wherever you are on your journey, you're welcome here. Regardless of ethnicity or race or background or history or, or sexual identity or uh, your sexual understanding of yourself, uh, economic status, felon, uh, who knows where you've come from. Specifically out at High Country UCC, we're about questions. And uh, not necessarily that we have all the answers, but it's just ask a questions together, be in dialogue together. me hope that people are going to be coming. You've created a environment of enthusiasm mm -hmm. and helpfulness and just incredible willingness to to give things a try. So what does the garden mean to you and to your ministry? So I grew up in the dirt. I grew up in the plains of Texas actually on a farm and uh, my roots and really who I am are really connected to the land. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons I actually was pretty excited about this church when they first started interviewing me is understanding that they had what they call the community garden. And their whole understanding of the garden is that it's a meant to be a resource for the community. And so specifically for ours, we tried to uh, provide the farm cafe with lettuce and mm -hmm. kale, specifically greens. And just the idea that we are impacting our community through the dirt just delights my soul. That's also to me just life, right? And for me in my faith, while well, Jesus said that I've come that you may have life and have it abundantly. And so life to me has nothing to do with monetary or possessions or prosperity, but it has everything to do with how I live and that I am in the present here and now moment all the time. And so when I see that green grass going, whether it's weeds or the strawberry pants, plants or the lettuce, you know, that is life to me. Art is an expression of something that oftentimes is um, limited by words. If you take art to another level, then words become obsolete. You know, I really think vocab vocabulary is very limiting. I mean, just the translations of the Bible turn people's heads around where one picture might bring everybody together. Oh my gosh, art is incredible. There's all kinds of art. The garden itself becomes like its own painting with colors and texture and growth. And art is all encompassing experience of attempting to make meaning with our world of what is going on within us from a divine standpoint. And so for me, art really is the connector, is the conduit that allows us to connect to things within our faith experience, within our spirituality. That art is really what begins to really touch into who we are and pulls us into the divine and helps us understand the divinity within us.